Suing us tonight as Andy Davo places, faces Artemis Black in whatever round this was. It's Orcs versus Underworld. This should be entertaining. Oh, what do we reckon then, Hellboy? Uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting. It's going to be an interesting one. Davo's um, obviously Davo knows his Orcs very well. We touched on it last time with the stats uh, in terms of how how good his Orc record is in this kind of format. Um, but the interesting thing is Artemis's build, uh, whilst not being a typical underworld build, has gone very bash heavy, very damage output. I don't think it's a good build. However, that uh, with no Apo on Davo's team, that might well uh, play into Artemis's favour. So it's all to play for 50-50, flip the coin, who knows what's going to happen, etc, etc. They played a version of underworld in uh, Malta that was you know, I just couldn't get to grips with them. But with this many players, what do you feel like strategy? Are you going to see some fouling going on here? Absolutely. We're going to see fouling. We're going to see that uh, the rat ogre with claws trying to target things. Well, I can, we can still hear Sea Otter. We can hear people coming in, dude. We don't know what's going on. I don't know. He's, he's knacked the webcam, but he's given us the joy he's, yeah, of hearing exactly. his sounds. He's absolutely knackered the webcam, but in the process, he's given us the, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, arrival in chat sounds, the arrival Real. sounds. Right, do you want to hit me with my usual bit, dude? Good luck. He's a step man. Go for it. That's all right. Um, I think they've played each other like four times. Artemis has got a couple of wins. Davo's got a, a win or something. Uh, but to be honest with you, if you keep on avoiding each other, uh, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more, uh, you can't ever, you can't ever, you can't ever get it, can you? You can't ever play against each other if one of you's avoiding the other one. Anyway, let's move on. So, uh... The Underworld are setting up in defence. Now, the interesting thing is, uh, with the swarming rules, is how many uh, snotlings does uh, do the Underworld uh, put on the pitch? Because now, on. Can you explain this rule? Because it's confused me. Certainly, certainly. So, swarming is a, is a D3 roll um, to see how many snotlings go onto the pitch. However, you can only get the same number of snotlings on the pitch that you have on the pitch at the same time. So if I put one snotling on the pitch I, and I roll a D3, I'm guaranteed one more snotling, okay? Yeah, right. If I put two snotlings on the pitch and I roll to get three snotlings, I can only have two because I've only got two on the pitch. Okay, all right, fair enough. Now, Lefty's asked a very important question and I can't believe this wasn't picked up in our last stream. In our last stream, I never mentioned biscuits once, and that's because I haven't eaten one since December the 31st. No so, way. Yeah, no I way. I haven't had biscuits since December no the 31st. No way. Look I'm, at that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid biscuit chat can be... I can talk about Huel, a lovely blend of 27 nutritional vitamins. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I like Huel as well. There we go. Look at that. We're, we're a commentary duo. BB Nut says, only one's not lin on. He's still mucking around a bit here. Let's see if he leaves it at that. Uh, currently, also goblins on the line, so not choosing to put uh, put rats on the line. So this is a this is an interesting uh, interesting choice here as well. And his team is guard. He's got block, so we can knock goblins over. He's got guard. He's got frenzy. It's you know, it's the typical, uh, it's the typical uh, build that we're used to. Interestingly, though, uh, the reason why I don't, I, like uh, I don't, I don't know that. Oh, what the Um, the. Uh, amazing right anyway back to the back to the game um what i was going to say was uh, the reason why i don't particularly favor the build that we've got is that normally i like a, a couple of wrestle line rats um in order to to put the ball carriers uh, ball carrier on the ground um because actually uh, to win a game of blood bowl dudorino you may not know this but to win a game of blood bowl dudorino you need to score more touchdowns than your opponent okay yeah. and it does help if the ball is on the floor when you're doing that um, so, so getting a wrestle on a wrestle on a uh, on a couple of line rats is wonderful. Um, so yeah, the songs for the entire stream. I mean, uh, maybe maybe we could. 
Ah, oh, Day Day, nice to see you. Nice um, to see you, Day Day. Hansik, Jewel is not a Swedish brand. I can guarantee you that. One hundred percent, it's not Swedish. <laughs> I do hope. I do hope Andy's. Mm, oh wow, he is, isn't he? Andy's going to surf a goblin off the line. <sighs> That's her dominance. Have we done the bit where he's well, added an extra snotlin yet, or does that as a no, kick No, it happens, so the kick happens, Yeah. here, then swarming, Right. then oh, the yeah. kick-off result. Okay. It's all, uh, so as you can see, uh, only one snotling's allowed to be put on. You can't put it on the, uh, on the line of scrimmage or on the wide zones, but it can go anywhere else. Only the one gutter runner? Uh, yes, they only get one gutter runner. Okay, so... Thank goodness. Yes, yes, I appreciate that. Okay, but... so the ball has the ball has landed. The ball's landed six squares away from Mr. Throw, who's only movement five. Oh, oh just take the pal. Just take the pal. Just take I'll the, just take the pal. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Good. I know he would. Yeah, it was. He was eyeing it up, wasn't he? Three pals. He's wasted two of them. Oh, and it's an injury. It's an Come immediate on, he's out. He's got one out. There's the blood in blood bowl that has been lacking in the last that game. Won't be, that won't be up -owed. That will be gone. Get out of here. It's only a goblin. That's dead. It's off the pitch. And Davo has now brought the numbers level. It's now 11 versus 11, Duderino. We've still two more hits to go. There are some rats on the bench as well. That's a goblin on the bench. Is that yeah, a rat I, and two I think snots? I, don't, I, I honestly don't know why there is... A rat on the bench. There's no, especially when there's like, normally one in the kitchen. <laughs> what, what am I going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, no, no. And it's a KO. It's a KO, Duderino. That's two down. That's it's two gone. down. So that won't get appoed. That's ten gone. On the pitch. Eleven v ten. Davo off to a flying start here. It's what you needed, I feel, to combat Absolutely. Underworld. Absolutely, absolutely. What, what, what you see with Underworld is if you can't break the armour on the weaker, the weaker pieces, the goblins, uh, the snotlings, and, the, uh, and then uh, however many of the lime rats you can. Davo doing the GFI. He's failed it! But he is going for the re-roll. And then... Oh! Johans lets him down. But Fails you've got to pick say, up. that's a pretty safe square. That's a great square. The only shame oh, is that Davo no, didn't no. get the... Um, Devo didn't get the vomit off on the troll, which would have been, uh, I think, the correct play on the goblin. One hit left. So, hey, Carmack, hope you're okay, buddy. Um, are you in any way, I, I know we haven't been speculating, no one's come here for our ideas, but uh, is there any way you can push with a rat ogre frenzy onto the ball, bounce it out, get it where you got a runner? Yeah, sure. I think uh, I, I guess I guess we'll see here what the what the underworld plan is um, with this build being quite attrition heavy. Um, I think that uh, if if for example the gutter runner had two heads, uh, I think we would be seeing that kind of play. Or if it, this was Chunter, um, we might see that kind of play. But here I've got no. I genuinely don't have any clue what's going to happen because if you if you try and scatter the ball and pop the ball out, you're not going to be setting up for a foul, um, and the rat ogre is also going to end up based and then is going to get smacked pretty hard the following turn whatever you do so so the question is what you know what's uh, what's the what's the game plan here because really the only weak the only weak point in terms of a, a, a hit is on the far right hand side with that that line orc there on the right hand side but um but yeah it's not uh that's not the right that's not the right place so it's we'll not. see what we'll see what's gonna happen is that almost okay? We're, oh, good, he is moving summer. I was worried we're a minute and a half in, and the end shifted. I know he plays a D.O. Sorry. style. Yeah, so the Rat Ogre is going to blitz. Um, we can see that because the Snotling's based the Rat Ogre, which means even on a one, the uh, Davos, Davos indicating what he would do. We'll see what if this is the play that is coming in. It is indeed the play that's coming in. Gets the pal. Claws come into play, maybe. Oh, it's a stun. Oh, and the frenzy players caught the ball. <laughs> now that's going to upset Andy, <laughs> actually, because it means he can't play it. Uh, mm. His frenzy game as much and lead out because he can't risk leaving that guy next to a player at the end of his turn if some pushes happen. 
Yep, absolutely, absolutely. And there's a uh, so this is this is a very uh, a very interesting conundrum here because obviously that's not the result the underworld wanted with the with the ball being caught by the orcs. But likewise, as you say, it's not the result the orcs want because uh, a high quality player like the uh, like the frenzy blitzer that's a high value piece not being able to then utilize that for the rest of the game is going to be very frustrating because uh, in particular versus those uh, those snotlings getting four or six dice four five six dice on them uh, is the way to guarantee the knockdown pretty much and animosity is a thing here on the orcs isn't yeah, it would, animosity would is certainly thing. have to pass an animosity roll if he wanted to hand it off to say the thrower Yes, yeah. The, uh, I believe the I off the top of my head, the throw has got animosity against everyone. I'm pretty sure the blitzers have got animosity against a certain number of players as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. I just know that the the blitzer could hand off to another blitzer, no problem. Dementor, if you're here, tell us the real rule or anybody else who who's a rule. Jack now. of blades is back. Okay, ball base. Ball base. Easy. GG, it's over. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming, folks. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll see you next time. But I think it's right to do it, because it means you have to blitz, blitz backward rather than blitz forward. I know it's an early turn, but still, it's a thing. Yep, 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 yep. Oh! Oh! <laughs> What was that? What, did that? Was that the sound of the troll going stupid, or was that? Why did it? Why did it make that sound? Don't forget that was someone coming into stream. He made a grunt, oh. and then the senpai thing was. Oh right. In, you know? Okay, yeah. that's fair enough. Yeah. You 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 forget we've got additional sounds that we what? never it normally makes that, hear. Giraffe saying it makes that sound every activation. That's insane. So it makes the stupid sound every time it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I right. heard it go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Here comes the uh, here comes the blitz then on the lime rat. Lovely target. Gets the pow. Wrestle wouldn't have saved it this time. And no injury. It's okay. Shame there. It is nice. Uh, it is nice to get a free crack at the uh, at the lime rat. Uh, obviously, the rats are uh, the lime rats are a higher value target. Than, uh, than many of the other pieces uh, on the pitch. So uh, being offered a free hit on one is something that you don't turn down. So Davo's obviously got the... Uh, he's got a, got a hit on the, on the Snotling if he wants it, but then, and to maybe get a, get a hit on the, uh, on the Rat Ogre. But he's yeah. going to gonna have to roll the power here. It's he got does the roll the power! Very nice, very nice. Yeah, we follow up, let's see what he does. So now I'd imagine the guard, uh, Biggin's going to step in. The snot's okay! <laughs> Absolutely, of course the snotling's okay. Have you not, uh, have you not, I, have you I, not I seen have Underworld? You, have, I played Stig with uh, uh, Snot, see, where he had ogres, and honestly, I could not break his yeah. armour. He was laughing, all these school kids were laughing at everything, you know. Oh, and it's more pals. It's pal central for Andy Davo. This could be big. Let's see what happens to the rogue. He's fine. He's fine. Toughs it out. Davo looking to step forward here, just to just to really cement in that it's going to have to be uh, going to have to be uphill. Uh, oh no, it's uphill anyway. Yeah, that's no, it's fine. He doesn't need to do it. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking he was looking to, to cement in that it would be an uphill, but obviously the goblin's only strength too, so it would be an uphill on the troll regardless. Because uh, obviously, if you roll the roll a double knockdown, could get the uh, could get the troll down. There's a possible way through to the ball. Slightly nicer dodges through to the ball. Little Yoshi, good afternoon to you, brother. Oh, hello, you Yoshi. Doing okay. Yeah, because last time we were in Bin Blood Bowl since Davo Tational, have we? No, no. Well, I, well, I have, but but the yeah, pair but of us I, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. he's breaking in here on this cage. This is another stun. Grief. Yeah, and it's another stun, and and, and position. yeah, and now this might be um, this might be the time we see the uh, see a foul dropped. Even with the reduction of players that uh, the underworld have suffered, 
Well, my 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 only thinking is is honestly, dude, you know, I don't know how I would play this underworld team. Um, it's just so far removed from the build that I would go for. But I'm just like I think if, if you've gone for damage output and you're not trying to get damage, choosing to leave the rat ogre on the floor, could it be a foul bait? Could this be a foul bait? Could could uh, could Davo be eyeing up the? Now Andy can't blitz out using that frenzy player because no matter what he'd still end up being stuck to another player so yep. he's going to have to use something else to blitz out of here yep it's going to be the big one you were absolutely right there Diderino it's another knockdown KO could be, an apo. could be an apo but probably not choosing not to that's a fine that's fine are we getting to critical underworld? No, nowhere, nowhere near critical underworld, Dudorino, because obviously there's the one turn. Underworld are not, uh, you're not re so reliant on the on the numbers because you've got a, a big bench and you're going to be uh, having a crack at the one turn. Was that a stun or anything? Or uh, I that... think it was a stun, but I think the it might be the icon is be the icon of the blitzer or something is blocking the the line rat. I'm not sure. Just or is that the armor break bug? Yeah. Ah, is that a bug on that one? Is it oh. occasionally... Okay, yeah, difficult to I'm... tell. No, really? Okay, you don't have to explain something to me. Yep, sure. Why would you bring it back here when that thing can now... I mean, is there enough guard there that he'll frenzy trap himself? I guess that must be uh, must be Davo's plan. This he's looking to uh, looking to see if he can frenzy trap the uh, the rat ogre to keep the keep the rat ogre on the floor by saying, right, you either hit your own player potentially to stand up, or you are or you're blitzing into the you know because it's a four plus to stand up, um, or you're or you're blitzing. Uh, Davo doesn't have an apple. It is a bold strategy. It might work. We will find out. Does he have a spare player? Uh, yes, he's got 12 players. 12 players, 3 re-rolls, no apple. Of course, with the swarming, with them 3 players off the pitch, so that leaves Artemis with 9. Yep. yep Take exactly. standing, one rat right ogre down at the moment. Yeah, it's a interesting, really good control, I think, from Davo to keep that that rat ogre under control by saying, "Hey, if you want to do it, you can, but it's going to hurt you." You know. Ooh, that goat run has made a move. Yeah, looks like uh, looks like there might be some ground being opened up, some space being opened up for Davo potentially with a blitz next turn. But he'd need uh, he'd need another. You like? Why would you base a player with a goat a place? Why would you put a goat runner on a blitzer? Okay, and then I'm trying to think to myself, is he going to stand up and blitz there? But there's guard on him. He's going to have to put more assists in to make that. No, he's, bl he's blitzing here. I was going to say, he uh, hasn't moved the Skaven, the Skaven blitzer. No, uh, no armor break. I, I swear, I swear to God. Artemis has done this on, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, the ball carrier's got frenzy. I wonder if he wants to pin a, <laughs> pin a gutter to the sideline. Yeah, possibly, possibly. I think uh, I do. I do worry about leaving the gutter runner out to dry so early on. Um, oh, failed dodge. Need to re-roll that. I think you can't risk the armor break. I'd say you can't risk hitting the deck. Four re-rolls. You got the chance to, to use it. No, no, not to. Okay. Oh, no, no, did no, he did use the reroll. God, this UI is awful. Failed. He did use the reroll. It just, uh, it just failed. Okay, that is, uh, that is unlucky. Unlucky for the underworld there. So what rerolls? I just thought that that Andy's time to head right is now. Leave yeah, that absolutely, rogue absolutely, down. absolutely. How many rerolls has Artemis got? Um, he's got, he's got four rostered, but now yeah. he's got three. Okay, four um, rerolls. Yeah, but yeah, it, it, you it, get I mean, a lot of bang for your buck with your underworld team. Yeah, space, I do. But 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 then but then this is also why I'm questioning the build, right? Because because you could take a bribe. Um, bribes are only fifty k for underworld, so you could have taken a bribe and had three rerolls and a bribe. 
So this is this is why I'm questioning it. I don't quite I don't quite get the logic behind the build. Well, as an orc, you got to be happy at turn four if you're over the halfway line. Yeah, ball, ball's also on a faster piece. Um, it's not what Davo wanted, but it's on a movement six piece, which is uh, which is numerically better than a movement five piece. Cully saying don't know if they could take a bribe. This is no inducements format, says Cobblestorm. Don't is think it? you can have a bribe, says BB. Oh, no. Is it in Astral Hive? Can he buy a bribe? Tex Mex. You watch the choice selection carefully. One of the options should show the opponents hovered above it and getting slightly bigger. Usually he'll be the one they choose. Oh, oh okay. Oh right, so you can't take inducements. That is awful. Okay, well then, fair enough. Then four rerolls it is. Very good. Is Andy blitzed? Uh, yes, he blitzed the, with the the big one. He did a three D on the goblin, but uh, didn't knock it over. He, okay. he, did, he rolled a uh, he rolled a uh, defender stumbles. Oh. Sorry, sorry, folks. <laughs> I was reading chat. Whoa. I, uh, that's not our. Uh, oh. Okay, nice, nice, uh, nice dodge back there from uh, from Andy. I think it acts as a bit of a sweep in case something goes wrong. He's got a sweeper back. I would imagine that that blitzer might stay hovering no further than the the the, the yellow S actually. So you feel some elf columns coming up here? Uh, yeah, elf columns. Also, this is where the snotlings kind of come into their own right on the team because of the sidestep. Um, they are effectively blodgers if you if you're blitzing them without block. Um, but obviously, Davo can engineer three Ds uh, with block. So whilst there's a good uh, a good chance of knocking it over, there is a there is a world where you don't knock where you don't knock them down. What's that rat ogre got to do to get up? So to to stand up, if it's not a blitz, it will be a four plus. If it's a blitz, it's a two plus. If there's something stood next to it, it will it can hit its own teammate. Or if it fails the na the roll naturally, it can hit its own teammate. So Artemis might declare the blitz here to uh, just to stand the rat ogre up. No. Nope. Oh, Lord Morgan, take care, mate. Wow, that rat ogre is not getting good value, is it? No. So right. Andy has obviously got an elf screen up here. There is a gap around the side, but orcs ain't fast. They can't exploit that like a bunch of elves could. No. So, where where are you hitting? Who are you hitting with? And well, what are you like, hoping to achieve? Looks like a 3D with the big one on that goblin. Um, yeah, you, you can declare a target giraffe, right? But you don't have to hit it. Yeah? You, yeah. you can you can click... You, presumably, you can click, to, to, you can click the target and then stand up and do the first bit and stop it's how you score on a rat ogre if they unfortunately catch a ball and then you declare blitz with them to get them down the field yeah yeah yep exactly or in roger bowl it's called cheating i love roger bowl i love roger bowl that's 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 <laughs> water bowl that's water bowl's evening sorted it roger bowl it's gonna be brilliant. eight games of roger bowl oh are you going water bowl yeah all oh, right i'm not going no, I know, I know. It's a shame. I didn't even know it was on. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was on, but I just didn't know the ticket was on. Are you in the proper Premier Inn? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, proper Premier Inn. Gonna, gonna drive up. Joe's in the car with me. Drive up on the, uh, drive up on the Friday. Uh, Korean barbecue on the Friday, I think it is. And then, uh, and probably, uh, I might even go into Element in the evening and do my paint shopping in the evening so that I'm not tempted during the day, so I can actually take my time in the evening bit and look at it, look through all the paints, uh, and then, uh, and then yeah, then, then play play on the, uh, play on the Saturday, pizza presumably, Saturday evening, easy now, peasy. Oh, yeah, go on, do that. Because I was just going to have a moan about something if you move that other player. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. No, yeah. Well, it's not for me to say, is it? I like what he's done having the guard player where it is, because I was worried he was just going to leave one corner again that could be based at the back, meaning he'd have to blitz backwards rather yep. than blitz forwards. Yep, yep, yep. yep. 
<laughs> giraffe is learning something new every day. Yep. Every day is a school day. What's T-I-L? I don't know. Oh, oh, there's a couple I'm not ever sure of. I know it could. Well, you don't know. It could be an an an, an Americanism. Today, Today I, I learned. learned. That works. That really works. Oh, that really works. That's With nice. Where I've seen that. Yeah. That's nice. Look at that. We're all learning here. I don't just, so, I've never used this thing. This. I'm not in. Ah, oh, look at that. He remembered. What? Stand up the rat ogre? No, to blitz with it. <laughs> ah. Hey. He's done it. <laughs> Gosh, I, I do. I do hope that there's no cheating going on listening to the stream. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things, Dudorino. Right. Uh, so three turns. The columns are in place. That is a that is a juicy line rat target there, isn't it? Is he trying to shift back to the middle here? Looks like there might be a little bit of a shift on, but the uh, the problem is where the rat ogre is stood. Yeah, I know. Unless he goes forward and bases uh, after hitting that rat. Yeah, I mean you don't you don't want to leave uh, cages based and stuff, do you? But uh, but perhaps oh, okay, perhaps the target oh, is now yeah, the rat that ogre. Is rat ogre. Oh. Oh. Put a troll on a lineman, who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want to hit that, then then you'll have to pull all the other players over to deal with it. Well, okay. I, I can only assume, Mister block big gun is coming into effect here yeah one, yeah, would, one would assume it's fight me or dodge isn't it you don't want to... yeah i do wonder how much andy's eyeing up the foul on the uh on the rat ogre as well at, at some point you know it's uh it's an interesting it's an interesting call he is okay, not going down though can get the can get another oh. hit on it yeah Gets the gets the second uh, hit. Gets the two bites of the cherry. Yeah, that is a nice. I agree, tree. I like I like this choice. It's um, it's nice. It's uh, getting the getting the prehensile tail out the way, because whilst the snotling on you is annoying, the the tr the tail is uh can be uh can be uh, uh game breaking with the with the increase in the. Uh, in the dodge away, obviously, and we might we might be facing a situation here. David might be facing a situation here where where he is needing the dodge away to yeah. score. Well, he is in range now. You got to say that. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, being in range is one of those things you you will familiarise yourself with uh, very much. In what season was it? Twenty nine, something like that. When you uh, when you played Nurgle, Dudarina. Yeah, you got to learn these things very quickly. Yeah. Does he not need one more square there? No, all right. And he's still not down. These things happen. That does uh, that does still pin the rat ogre into a uh, into a few uh, into a few players, even if the hit comes in. Will you follow up? No, you won't. Well, I think you want to keep. I think you accept the fact that the blitz is getting hit anyway. Um, at some point this turn, the Blitzer is going to get hit. Um, but you want to really keep that guard, that guard big and free, because you'll want to be engineering a 3D probably on the next turn somewhere. Now, coming back into the central point, you think Artemis is going to have to spread his defense more here, because Andy's still got two turns to go. Sure. Yeah, you I can see that. you got to love the burning helmet. Yeah, there's there's a few things that, that, that Blood Bowl 3 do quite well, don't they? And I think that, that, that fire, they seem to... They seem to make that. <laughs> oh, good one, Tree. Tree, uh, you know, it's funny enough you mentioned this because I don't like to talk about it, but uh, you catch up. It's season 39, thank you very much. I knew it had a nine in it. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, there's a nice symmetry, isn't there? Yeah, you he, you uh, did well in 39 and Dave 01 49. Hey, but let's not let's not say uh, you know I'm not the only UK champion here, really, am I? Because somewhere <laughs> in between season 39 and 49, you know, someone else did rather well. Yeah, I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> I beat Tree in the. Nor do I, because you went. I know that was such a that was that was such a shame. That was such I mean, a shame. That was a great game. 
no offence, you couldn't write the script. You couldn't. I, I there's know. No other I, playoff I just game. just released the song as well, had I? had a theme song. Uh, you know, it was the most amazing piece of. I mean, yeah, it was, oh, awesome. yeah. it was amazing. That was good. Yeah, that was good, yeah. Yeah, and I beat Bazza on a dice on a dice off because Bazza didn't take the correct. Bazza should have um, re-rolled on the thing. Oh, the dodge failed. So he didn't get the hit. So he didn't get the hit on the on the blitzer. Really good. Yeah, sorry, Tree. Well, look, really Andy. This has been good for Andy because one, yeah. Artemis has not uh, been able to reposition due to that unfortunate dodge. Two, yeah. there's a hit or two on. There's a hit. There's a massive hit on the yeah. blitzer runner. That yeah. is of if you were if you were going to tell me that I could have I I could have had uh, two two cracks at the gutter runner in the in the in this game. That's a was your might might move. You might want to move the ball first, and then you could greet this mm -hmm. potentially. You could cage. Uh, anyway, yeah, let them do that. That's the thing. You know, I I'm I would be. I honestly would, yeah, I'd honestly do this bit first and possibly be eyeing up the greed. Yes, Jester, I agree. Yeah, absolutely true. Like, if, if you're going to give, if you're going to give hits for free, um, the gutter Aye. runner is not the, not the one you want. <laughs> Sounds like oh, I nothing. would have... <laughs> oh! This could be huge! Oh, oh you oh, found it! You found okay. it! Where's the line orc? Does he have the line orc anywhere? You, 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 yeah? It's, it's geifiable. Yeah, you found it! You have to! You absolutely have to. I think as well, Tex Mex. I think as well, Davo's feeling um feeling a bit better. He was he's been quite unwell Pretty recently, nice and I think he's uh. Another pow. Yeah, you have to foul it. It's like a war dancer. Yes, if it's on the floor, you got to hit it. He's putting in some more players. God yeah. works on fouls these days, did yeah, you? Yeah, know? it does. It does. But you've got to you've got to secure the screen. That black orc could go back a bit, maybe, or and be the be the back bit of the screen. I'm... I think one of the blitzers has to be the back bit of the screen. Because yeah, just need I was it. going there. I was I was thinking you would. I, I was thinking you'd do a a, a wall. Um, but this this is fine as well. The guard's gonna go and gonna assist, and then he's got to do the double. Is double GFI? Is it? Yeah. And I'd leave the blitzer. Let's go against the ogre. Let's go. It's a big one. This is a big one. No, it's a lineman. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, oh it's, no. it's, up. it's just a stun. Will he argue stun. the call? No, no, it was not successful. So, oh, yeah, no, still it's, worth it. Still I, worth it, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Demented Jester, I know, I know it doesn't, but I can't read the bloody pitch. I couldn't count the squares. I can't even. I can, I can barely see this pitch. It's horrible. Oh, we've frozen again. Oh no, we haven't. No. Yeah. Oh, absolutely the right play. Absolutely yeah, the right play. Yeah, yeah. Had to be because all of this could be for now with the strength of a one turn coming up. Yep. No, absolutely. You, if you can, if you can kill that. Oh. Did the rat ogre just one in nine. Yes, yes the rat ogre just one in nine. The rat ogre one in nine. He's apoed it. He's apoed the KO. Because he couldn't risk not having it for the pushes. Yep. You need it for the one turn. Now, now, uh, there's there's a possible three D. Blitz on a line rat, I would eye up, and then uh, and then walk the it in. You cannot do no. the foul. No, you don't foul. You don't foul. You uh, you three D the the line rat here. Yeah. Three D. Get us the pal. No injury, and now you walk it in. No! Oh, you're not. What are you doing? You don't vomit. You don't even risk it. What the? What the? Oh, 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 oh. Jesus! What's that with? Whoa! 
Okay. Oh, but well, the engine that, and you know been, that's not going to Apo'd. Well, the Apo's gone, dude. It got used, used on the KO. Rogue, and that's it, and course, Gilbert yeah. scores 1-0. 1-0. Oh, well, I can't really, because this is kind of interesting. I need to delay it. Because I don't want to not be here Jimmy, for this if you, isn't, isn't, if, isn't if you roll, isn't it if you injure yourself, though? Can't you vomit on yourself? I'm sure you can vomit on yourself. This is for all you can't models. turn it's over even if you vomit on yourself. I mean, I've never had anyone vomit on themselves, though, to be fair. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. Jeez, if that means. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm delaying the format Jeez. because I want to see this. Okay, fair enough. So you're... Okay, next turn over. Okay, that's fine. That's fair enough, dude. That's fair enough. No one ever, no one ever, um, no one ever vomits on themselves when they play versus me, anyway. So has Artemis uh, still got 11, then? Easily, with his subs. Indeed, Giraffe. Indeed, Giraffe, I learn. So, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be an interesting defence here, because obviously, if the one turn goes wrong, or if Artemis can't do it, um, then uh, uh, then the fouling option becomes uh, quite big because Davo's got no bench now. Mm. Davo's capped on 11. And Artemis has 11 and still subs? Uh, yes. Ah, good. Yes, and, and Snotlings to swarm with as well. <laughs> He's got a bench and Snotlings to swarm with. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Artemis is a very, very capable player, as which we all know he's very capable of doing a one turn. Yup. Does it move to eight when it, like, it's a yeah, seven? Yeah, eight yeah, 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 yeah. When, when it, when it, when it hits that, when it hits the turn, it will. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting set up here. So where is it then? There's the gutter runner. Whoo! Ah, no. Oh, and we could step in, I suppose. So what hits the troll to get the row out of the way? Don't you? Oh no, you can't do that either. Um, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's, yeah, it's, it's times like these. It's times like these that you need to be on the other. On the other. Um, Kevin, tell me the odds. On so the, other side. the screen. Yeah. yeah, I understand. Here we go. The all important kickoff. The result here could make or break this one turn attempt by Artemis. It's a deep kick. Extra swarming player coming in. Why not? Could be used to fill in a square. Indeed. Hang on. Good swarm in, then kick off result, you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swarm in, then kick off result. Brilliant, Brilliant coaching. coaching. Uh, well, well, no Davo one. got it. Davo got it. No one could knock it. Well, Artemis has got three anyway. Oh yeah, three three is more than enough. Can this ball get there? Is it gotta be thrown or Yeah, it's off? gonna have to be thrown. You might as well start with that then, eh? Yeah, um whilst whilst the gutter runner's only in one tackle zone, you open with this, absolutely. Are you throwing it all the way I was just gonna say I'm throwing it to him and then handing it off, but that was a three plus catch. You probably, you probably, I'm so the, that um, one actually a free plus catch. I think you probably, uh, you probably eye up this, uh, this bit as well, because otherwise you might end up 
Uh, I wanted three, four, five, six. My, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see at what stage uh, the underworld choose to go for the handoff. Yeah, now, so now, yeah, this is good. This is good in my opinion. Fills in the square as well. Got the ball in the player's hands. So now, right it's now, the it starts. One D. He had to start. Well, I was wondering how he was going to get the troll out of the way, and there's the answer. It's a one D. Oh, no, the rat ogre has gone and KO'd the player next to him. Does he still get to do the block now? Yeah, absolutely. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. So it's a guaranteed blitz. Does not ah, get the push. And now with Lona's, he re-rolls and... Oh, oh no. Does not Lona, get the Lona push. Lona failed. failed. Yeah. So now we'll probably see the foul come in. Yeah, that's a one turn. Oh, well, he's got the knockout. Well, there you go. So no, um, that to the yeah, no, no way of getting the uh, no way of getting the uh, the one turn. And also, this foul is not uh, not great odds, so will it even be a foul? No. No, he's just gone straight right. So in that Devo case, leaves. I'll leave you with the setup in the capable hands of Hellboy's halftime report. Thank you very much, Dudorino. Thank you very much. Well, chap, did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? Turned out he just needed a little space. So, uh, looks like, is that Davos KO back? Yep, Davos on 11, yep, good, there we go. So, 11 versus, um, is it 11? Yep, it's going to be 11 versus... 12 because there are only uh, there's not enough snotlings to get 13 on the pitch so it's going to be 11 versus 12 thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much yeah the old 10 meat So, so obviously, Underworld with the speed advantage can uh, can kind of just tuck the ball in at any at any point. David going for the kick, swarming. So the ball can't go, the Sonic can't go under the ball, but it can go near it. Yep. And the kickoff is high kick. Yeah, is this a, is this a Dakar? Is this a Dakar? It's a Dakar! We've got an underworld Dakar on our hands. Back in the game. Uh, We've got a Dakar doing back there. We've got an underworld Dakar on our hands. Dakar, 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 Dakar. Withdrawn offense. I missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fumbled it. Withdrawn offense. Daka 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 daka. What's a daka, Astroni? A daka is intentionally running away on defense to deny your stronger opponent hits, like he's doing here. So the orcs, all they can do for the next turn is walk forward or hold the line. Then there'll come a time about turn six or seven where Artemis will aim to break through and, uh, you know, score to take it to overtime because dwarfs don't really have a one turn because I don't think Andy's got a goblin, has he? No. No. So, that's what we're going for. Yeah, and the... Uh, God, that troll so making that noise every time is ridiculous. Um, if you want to know uh, really about the Dakar, uh, I actually wrote a song about the Dakar. 
um, which pretty much explains it. So, uh, so if you want that, you can uh, go onto YouTube, search Daka Daka, here I go again, and uh, and you pretty much get the the whole thing. Yeah, the only good news about this is it should be a pretty quick second half. Yeah, it should be a fast second half, which is good because uh, we'll be uh, a rapidly approaching dinner time, Duderino, when this roll when this ends, won't we? Well, I've drank my fuel while we were watching, and I'm off to a gig. So, oh, yes, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, who are you going to see? Uh, Miles Hunt. He's the lead singer of the Wonder Stuff. Okay, it's, be uh, careful. Be be careful saying back. that. Be careful saying yeah. that uh, yes. on stream. Yeah. Miles Hunt, a man who is definitely afraid of limericks, along with his good friend James Blunt. Sorry, I didn't mean yeah. to say they're friends. That's 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 fair enough. No, I would imagine. I mean, Dave can just stand here now, basically. Thank they could just that. they could just alternate yes, turns. Yes, right? I would. I would. I, I would not that. chase too much because you need when they go, they can go. Oh, well done, Dave. He's linked your Daka song for you. Oh, look at that. Let's have a look, see if no, the views no. go up at all. No, no, that, that's that's not the Daka song. That's the clip of us going Daka, 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 Right, yeah, now no blitzes, no action. This is, I'll tell you what, should we read a listener's letter? Oh, Shepard po Shepherd posted. Thank you very much, Shepard. Oh, Shepard. Sorry, anybody who did that. Oh, Shepard did it. Sorry, Shepard. Shep, I apologise. Well, here we are. Turn 11. <laughs> yeah, well, it's got... It's, <laughs> I don't know what we've got to do. We've just, love it. All right, I love the data. Six minutes of filling. All right, because these two are just going to be playing tennis until one of them gets the blurge forward. Say something. Say something about they can't be doing this surely, or something like oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely this can't be the whole second half. Oh, I think it will be the whole second half, Duderino, and don't call me Shirley. Right, Thank you very much. That, that, right, that, that's good. That's burnt through ten that seconds. Button. That's hey, ten oh, seconds oh, burnt through. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, yeah. old boy, remind me when we go. What happens if this is a draw at full time? Oh, great, great thing, Duderino. Obviously, if we reach the end of regulation time, which is 16 turns, we'll then go into overtime. If it's 1-1, one, one, we'll go into overtime. And then, at overtime, we play a full half of Blood Bowl. It's not gold on goal anymore like it was in Blood Bowl 2. It's a full half of Blood Bowl, which means that both sides will get to kick and receive. And then, if they're still tied at the end of that, then we'll go to kicks. Now, Duderino, you may remember from Blood Bowl 2, there was such a thing called kick equity, where we talked about reroll preservation due to them being uh, added to the dice roll on the kick. So you would roll a d6 and add your re-rolls, and the winner of that roll would win the kicks. However, that is no longer the case. It's now a best of five, a.k.a. first to three, roll on kicks of th uh, d6s uh, with no re-roll modification, which means that the re-roll preservation is simply to ensure that your, second, uh, your uh, overtime performance is better. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, oh. 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 Is that the Blitz? Just a yeah, blitz just to move, move there. I like what he's done there. What he's done there, he's just selected blitz and used it to move the player rather than actually hitting a player with the blitz. That's fantastic, Dudorino. I don't think he knew that that was the case until he listened to the stream. Well, you see that. You see that. No B6, or on diet. Well, yeah. he can hit something this turn. Yeah, he can. He can. Whether he will or not is the, uh, is the thing. Welsh, Welsh, bam, bam. You know who I am? Oh yeah, I've got to, I was going to check the result. I've been I was following the result. Is Joe there? Is Joe there? No, Joe's not there. No, no. Oh, right. Uh, I was following the results. I was seeing uh, Mankiz is on three zero zero. Wow. Yeah, well he won it last year. He won so. it last year, defending, defending, reigning champion. Yeah, can't can't knock it now. Where was um where was McNaughton? McNaughton was on one 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 zero. Gav Coleman, I think, is on. One one a uh, two one zero or three zero zero. I'll, I'll check in a second. Great player, but he only managed to draw against me at Malta. Indeed, he did. Indeed, he did. He let the team down. Well, that was when Marky, my team beat your team. Indeed, it was. Marky Mark is on the two one zero. Oh, and Duda, actually, that's something we can now talk about, Duderina. That's something we can now talk about because it's been announced. Oh, well, that's off now, is it? So, so congratulations, Hellboy, on making it into the Welsh team for Athens. Thank you very much, Duderino. I'm back in Team Wales. Yes, I'm going to Greece, and I'm I'm very excited. 
Oh. My favourite biscuit, uh, Tompo, previously was a bourbon, but Duderino and I have disagreements on that, so we won't go into it. And also, I don't eat biscuits either because I'm off sugar. I've cut right back on my sugar intake. Is he, is he, is he going to blitz? Uh, he blitzed already with the with the uh, the big one, didn't he? All oh, right, I see. Oh, the dice rolls. Well, he must have done. Now. He's got black orcs on the side, which means there's going to have to be an investment of strength if you want to break through the sides this turn. Yep. Yep, obviously, absolutely. it doesn't have to be this turn. He's got a very... Thank you, Draft. Uh, obviously, he's got a fast player in that gutter runner. You know, doesn't have to be too deep in Andy's half too quick. But he does yeah, have absolutely. to be somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, BB Nut, no, I was in Team Wales uh, last time when Davo wasn't. So... Um, and yeah, it's a shame Dementor's not able to make it. Um, that's a real shame because uh, Dementor would have been a, a real asset to the team. Uh, can, we, can we give some shout out to some other stream members who have made it? Uh, certainly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, Lyra Sean. Lyra Sean, our very own Lyra Sean, is in Team Wales with uh, Hellboy and Andy, and should be there in Athens. So, big up to Lyra Sean. I'll say congrats to him because he's been working hard for this. He's a hell of a player. Drew against me at Waterpole last year. Only what? due to some terrible shenanigans and dwarf dodging on my... It was like one of them, I need a 665. Oh, dear. I just it's just a 5 and a 6 and another 5-6 <laughs> and then we surely yeah. can win. It was, it was one of them and he just oh, looked at me. The rat ogre's going to have to hit one of the rats and it can't be the ball. Ca oh, sorry, it's going to hit the goblin because it goblin, can't be... The yeah. Oh, oh no, there, there was, was a snot behind it. There was a oh, snot and that's, have a snot gone. There's a removal. There's a rem Was it a goblin or a No, it was a goblin. It's a goblin gone, dude, I think. And once again, that's not a turnover, and he still gets to make his move, correct? Yeah, still gets to make the blitz. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. he's injured two in one turn. The rat ogre's on fire. No, that's the blitzers with the flaming helmets, Duderino. Oh, yeah, good point. Well made. That's getting big because now he's down to ten. Yep, yeah, it's ten versus uh, ten versus eleven now. Davo, Davo needs to do something. Canada are going in for Euro Bowl, and Lovely. rookies on the team. You'll Lovely. see rookie at Athens. Fantastic, fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant. Right, so we've bit got time uh, bank being used here. Yeah, yeah, a bit of time bank uh, being chipped into, but both of them being pretty, pretty uh, balanced on their time bank use. Uh, the underworld moving to the right-hand side of the pitch here. The troll has got a got a vomit or a hit on the goblin, um, potentially. The uh, we've got a hit on the uh, Skaven Blitzer as well with a big one. Um, and then, uh, and then, obviously, there's a snotling, a snotling lurking there in the backfield, as well as a target. That was good dodging through because it's good to get some forward players. Yeah, very good. I'm not saying it's not above these to switch back, but it does look like the choice has been made. Yeah, indeed. Absolutely. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what occurs here. Artemis has got three turns left still to act from where the gutter's standing. It can score in two. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely uh, it's definitely uh, still very much on in the underworld's eyes. Oh, fantastic! Ooh, bam, what a game. Well done, Bam Bam. Look at you. You're unbeaten. Exactly. Unbeaten, unbeaten after unbeaten on day, day one. one. I'm beaten on day one. Fantastic stuff. You're like Day Day the undefeated. This is how he started. Oh, that's you know, great news and as next well. thing you know, he's winning NAF tournaments. Exactly. Great news as well, Santa. That you might be at Euro Open. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. 
Oh! That's a good stun. That is a good stun. Valuable stun now. For uh, this stage of the game, Duderino. Oh! oh it's a reroll, but now the Rat Ogre is down. The Rat Ogre is down. If this get if this is a removal, Duderino, this will be huge. Oh! Oh. Just a stun, but that's a but big, that's uh, that's a big chunk of weaponry out of their arsenal there. Is yeah. there a, oh, no, that blooming snot's in the way. What are you doing? There's a dodge there. Don't do that. Sorry, there's a... What? NAF tournament. I was just... Sorry. Sirius Draft says that's it. All oh, right, so we're talking about the Welsh. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about Welsh. Trolls got the pal. Didn't break the goblin break armor. armor. Hey! Oh, oh another reroll! Oh, wow, wow, wow! Two rerolls. Two rerolls, one turn. turn, only leaving one for possible overtime too. But basing up the edge free is a good idea. Oh, Davo's going for a going for a jump. No, he's going for a jump sack on the ball. Surely don't jump there. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, the way. Yeah, cause that's, oh, yeah, because it's it less landing. Oh, Whoa. don't re-roll it. Nothing. Surely don't re-roll it. You've got to save your re-roll. Yeah, and he falls on the square that he was... Uh, so, because he rolled the he natural one, on. he falls yeah. in the square that he was jumping from. If he'd rolled the two, he would have landed in the square and then fallen over. Yeah, it's the first time I've not been to the Welsh for a long time. I seem to go every other year, so... Um, yeah, we were there last year. I'm pretty sure yeah. we were there the year before. And the, uh, well, actually, I wasn't was there the on, year before. Was it on the year before? I'm yeah, it was on the year before, but there weren't many people. I didn't ah, that was it. No, before. you're right. I didn't go the year before. But then I was there the year before that, uh, which would have been the last one, uh, yep. Old Firestorm. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I was the there as well, because I came that, second yeah. to that one. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I lost a hawk. Oh, God. Ah, uh, the switch! The switch! The switch! I mentioned the switch, and yep, it's got you've... enough time! Yeah. You've, you've said it, you've spotted it, Duderino. You've spotted it. Not sure so. what that blitzer down, whether Andy's got enough to get cover out there, and Artemis is going to have it screened off. But, uh... Yeah, and and uh, Art will be able to have the. He's got enough turns to be able to to end up with no GFIs required, obviously. Uh, with uh, if he and he will be able to get downfield. So I think Davo is going to have to start eyeing up not only uh, where the where the blitz is. I mean, at the moment the ball is not safe, right? You know, at the moment we're still a one in nine away from uh, away from just a free three D on the ball. So, so it's not uh, it's not over yet. There are Artemis dodges that need to happen. Got, Artemis has still got four re rolls, though. That's Certainly, but it's still very it's big still one. there's still eleven percent failure here. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh re rolled Whoa. into a pal. Artemis has three re rolls. Wow. That was a big one dice because it frees up another player. It does indeed. It does indeed. But now everybody else needs a dodge roll. Yeah, the rest of them need the dodge rolls, but that has at least offered a bit more security. I think Artemis has got this. Yeah, especially with that little dodge through there as well. That helps uh, prevent that, that orc from doing the... Uh, the, the drop back run away. Oh, no, he's leaving it free. Ooh, okay. Well, that's okay, just given the sweeper. Uh, yeah, they can that's come. just given a sweeper. But the... Oh, and he's down. I'm sure he won't re-roll it. Oh. He no, didn't. he didn't re-roll it. But he's not dead. Not dead. So, there's obviously the 3D uh, blitz on the... Uh, on the snotling to base the ball that's obviously a, a viable option with the big one 
Uh, there's going to be there's going to be a bit of pressure. I can't. I'm I'm not seeing immediately how you can make it more than just a a two plus dodge off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But but maybe Davo here can put the pressure in to make sure the that then turn. the the next turn the ball is left exposed slightly. Yes, that's where I feel to make the things that I got to dodge dodge. There he goes yep. with your three D. Yeah. Keep on. Oh. Just the push. Go forward. So now, so now you have to follow. Now you have to follow. I had to follow. I mean, you know, base the ball. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So now, just uh, Devo, just dropping players back to try and make them as relevant and as a uh, as annoying as as possible also trying to look for a bit of attrition now i'd imagine davo as well obviously with uh with overtime potentially looming yeah he's uh, lost a couple of players himself here davo that could you know the toss was we know is going to be huge in overtime yeah it's a vomit yeah it's a vomit it's a vomit he's vomited on that man but nothing uh, happened nothing to happened. him no nope. Hey, Arctic, Arctic Antarctic wins his hero, hello, mate. Oh, and there's oh, a KO. No, a KO. That's, that's a removal there. That is Bring exactly what they ah. wanted. Bring up a player and still leaving that Skaven line rat based. Not that they're going yep, to come but also, but also, that's a removal potentially for overtime there, isn't it? You know? Yeah, only one more server. Let's see what this one could do. It's a pal! Really important to get the knockdown on that goblin there, I think. Follow up as well. Tag the both players. Very nice. No injury. Now, can Artemis get himself in a nice position that he can score next turn and have it shielded off and leave himself nothing worse than a two plus to get out of it? I think so. I think so. Centering, Mr. Rocker Crocker, there are other options available, you know, if you wanted to go out there. But why would you bother? I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Okay. But I did. Why would you bother, eh? Yeah, what else do you want to do on a Saturday night? But watch a bit of Blood Bowl now. He's getting... These are only two pluses here to get a little bit of a screen yep. in. And yep. then it's awkward. Is yep. there still the thing that Snotlins don't incur? Like you don't have to... Add a minus one to a dodge roll if you're yeah. running through there. Uh, yeah, things. exactly. So, so it's going to be so. So if you wanted to dodge a player through, it would just be the standard dodge roll. So if it was a three plus, it would still be a three plus. Um, so you you still have to make a dodge, but you don't add it. It won't increase to like a four plus if you go through, through. the tackle zone. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. It depends what he's going to do with this goblin. I think he's got to bring him out right side. Yeah, abs absolutely. Oh, goblin oh. found the dodge. But got it with the makes dodge. Makes it, makes it, makes it, makes it. Okay. So it's a 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. Yeah, uh, three, three, and you tag there. Yeah, three, three for a two D. Broke is up. Uh, three. Oh no, it's four, isn't it? Yeah, because you're going into the. Yeah, you're going into the um. Broke yeah, KO'd, going into the zone. KO'd the thrower. That's and his ball carrier out for the if he wins the drive. Not yeah. that the dude carried the ball in the first half. No, no, he's done. Uh, he's done very little ball carrying of all things. But with only one numbers, no numbers. Yeah, numbers depleting. Yeah. There's a send-off, a KO, and a thing. So that leaves Andy capped at nine. Well, capped at ten, maybe nine, if the KO don't come back. He should get two rolls at it, though, if Artemis scores. And if Artemis doesn't score, he doesn't care. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely, dude. So, this is it. The try-stopping moment. Would you go for it? Or just hit for attrition? I mean, so this this is this is the question, isn't it? It's. I think with two re-rolls, I would go for it. One re-roll is the is is the kicker. No re-rolls do not reset. 
no, not at all. I mean, you can base it, but that's literally a 1 in 36. So do you try to go for it, or do you just... Oh, yeah, try to stand in front of it is an interesting option as well, isn't it? Yeah, stand in front. I think you have to do something like okay, but I think I think we're all in agreement. Yeah. You your your blitz in in some way has to okay. So Davo's going to try and improve getting in front of the ball as the play. Well, he's got him down, but that has cost him a square movement. Well, now, not only that, not only that, it's pinned the um, it's pinned him against the snotling. So mm -hmm. that player is now not relevant. Couple of GFIs. Yeah. Which will make it threes all round. Yeah, he's made it, and now you can take the. Uh, now you can do the troll hit. Troll gets the rat ogre down. Could it be some? Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh. We no rat ogre in the second half. Huge. That could be seriously limited Huge. for the one turn potential if we go all the way to the end of the half overtime period. Massive. Now it's a 3-2 for the score here for the Underworld. I don't think there's anything else they want to do before it, to be honest with you. I think you I think you just go. I think you just go, because in case you pop dodge on the first one, you want all your re-rolls. Uh, if the guard one's one further back, then you can uh, then you would have been able to dodge Leave out and then me. move your um Stand, uh, stand that goblin up or jump over the goblin and run through. I must what, just the consider in the factors, but it, it's what it is, what it is, isn't it? I think it's just dodge. Dodge with dodge. It's a 1 in 89 by 1 in 36, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 1 in 89 and a 1 in 36. What, one, in, one in 89? Do you mean one in one to, nine? One to, what is one in nine? That's it. That's the one. It's a one in 81. That's the number I couldn't get. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. One in nine it's 89% it's it's success rate. Oh, I it. Damn it. I'm better than I thought. I'm like that well, dude in Brilliant Mind. Hey, Hello, Dementor. Dementor. Is Dementor at the Welsh? Are you at the Welsh, Dementor? No, he's not. Oh. Don't answer that, Dementor. Oh, okay. What? What's? What's this then? A lot of dodges. A lot of three percent risk states being added for a one D. At the moment, it's a one D. Oh no, he's going that way. Okay. A push to the side. Follow up. One in thirty-six. He's in. Yep. Here we go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Right. Of course, we do have the option of uh, there could be a riot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll I, I didn't expect overtime. I've got to nip the loop. Hold the fort while we're... <laughs> yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Right, so it's uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 versus 10. Fantastic. Very exciting, very exciting. I say smart things. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, for I might be wrong, but I don't know if the movement six one turn is possible with ten players. The frenzy would would make it possible, but also if you um if they spread the LOS, it's impossible anyway. Is it possible with ten players? Okay, but if they spread the LOS anyway, it's not possible. It needs to be a closed LOS for the movement six. It's not going to be a very interesting one turn attempt with Andy just basically trying to do damage, but no foul. Yep. Did the KO guy come back? Do we know yes, yet? For for Davo it did. For for the underworld it didn't. Okay. How are the underworld doing on numbers? One, two, three, four, uh, five, eleven. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, still got eleven. But no rat ogre.
Oh, fair enough. Fair enough, this daughter. Hang on. Gladiators? Hold on. Hold up. It's not the 90s. There's no jet. All right. What's your... I was just going to say. You got Warrior. Oh, jet. Diane Udall. Yeah, overtime. Yeah, overtime is not... Um, it's, Well, it is... It, <laughs> It is and it isn't. It's not golden goal anymore. So yeah, everyone yeah. gets a full half. So yeah, sudden uh, death, golden goal, whatever you want to call it. It's it's still. It's a uh, full half. Lots of scenarios there, dependent on who wins kickoff. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, this is though the first time when we've been coaching uh, Dudorino on Blood Bowl Three that Davo's actually gone to overtime. Be doing right, eh? High kick. Not what you need on this. Not what you need on this drive, but maybe next drive. Uh, not there though. No. So now Davo just needs to see if he can injure the goblins. That's all we're after here. First is... out. Goblin. Whoa! Oh, he's doing it, Eddie. We know what he's doing. Oh God! What did he just power the damn thing? That one didn't. Uh... That's Frenzy with guy, and then the blitz will come round. Uh, well, uh, I must turn dodge off. Can well, you, you turn dodge off? No. There's the push. But now he needs to clear the other goblin off. It's not a pow. Still three dice on the next hit with the Black Hawk. It's not a pal. He's got to push him away now. And oh. It ain't an Andy Davo game unless there's a surf. There it is. Takes the pal. Oh, you can turn though. it off if it's... Uh, you can turn it off. Oh, okay. I have nothing up with him, though. All right. Well, that's that. Overtime. Here we go. Who wins the kickoff? Gordon is in the air. Dave has oh, won. Penguin Academy won the toss. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. Then yeah, what are so, they Oh, right. Yeah, oh, Penguin yeah. Academy won the toss. So, oh, Andy's God. on defense. Andy's on defense. So, the KO guy still isn't back. So, it's 11 on 11. Yeah. If Artemis scores early, there's more chance of Andy game. Obviously, Andy will have more turns to score back. There's, you know, but will he start running out of players? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no rat ogre, though, for the removal is good. That's big, no rat ogre. But the one turn is now not a factor. Nope. No, 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 no. But Davo probably needs to look at doing some pressuring whilst keeping a, keeping a, a sweeper back. Because uh, obviously the underworld have a massive advantage with having a gutter runner. Yes, that is uh, very big in this format. Yeah, it's, uh, to be honest with you, Dudorino, it's, uh, it's massive in any format. Yeah, bloody gutter runners. Can't believe it when you've got four of them and you chunter and you just run everywhere at once. Uh, we might see the Dakar again, potentially, yes. Um, but, it worked uh, last time. Yeah, it did work last time, but, but it is, uh, given how, given how Artemis, uh, played last time, I do wonder whether we will see that. It's a big difference not having that roger there. Yeah, yeah, big difference. But, so it's 11 versus 10, I believe. Yeah, 11 versus 10. Okay, that is natural gaps that fast players like Skaven and players with Titchy and Stunty can exploit. Yep, for sure, for sure. But obviously, um, if Davo can uh, remove one a turn, um, you know, there is a lot of low armor on that pitch opposing, uh, opposing Davo on the Underworld team. Uh, I'd say the Snotlings count. Sidestep is uh, infuriating. Yeah, yeah. And the little buggers never go down. And then when they do, they fa they pass their armor roll. That is the most infuriating thing. When you yep. finally get one down, they pass their armor roll. Yep, yep, yep. Same feeling you had with Claw Bomb. <laughs> you know, it's like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, Ooh, here we go. Big kick off. Well, Ten see you, Ten me. Oh! Vicious ref. Oh, does oh, someone get sent off? Oh, it's one of the underworld down. It's one of the underworld rats is down. Uh. On the same side of the pitch as the ball. Oh. Shouldn't be too bad, though. No, no. Underworld have the responsiveness. Um, and orcs can't have the, the same responsiveness. Ah, uh, it's Dakar time again. Dakar, 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 withdrawn off. And he had one sent off. Did he? Yeah, look, there's a player next to the Frenzy Blitzer that end there no more. Oh, God. I'm glad someone's on the ball. Thank you, Troy. God, how how can you read this UI? Oh, sorry. Thank you, Tree, who sent it first. No, Rob Dell said it first. Someone said it before everybody else. That person, thank you. How can you how can you read this UI? Well, the turn is a table. Yeah. My how the turns have tabled. We got sixteen more turns to get us through to this final. Serves you, serves, you right, serves you right, Santa. So, neither play at all. Hand off there. If the ball is in the hands of the gutter runner. Trolls covering that line wrap. Orcs are going to take up their middle position thing. Yeah. I guess that is fair, guys. Yeah, I've, I've, I've managed to pick up a bit more since we've been doing the commentary, but I do I do struggle because I, I just don't play it. So. <laughs> oh, boy. It's been sent off. Huh. As what? He's what? <laughs> As he you, get your what? fingers out and count the players. <laughs> what did he get sent off for? <laughs> I thought they were bringing a sub on. <laughs> right, Blitz on the start. Oh! He's found the GFI and he can't. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh. He's just going to say he cannot roll that when he's only that, down to one re-roll and he's that, paid the ultimate punishment. That might be game. Yeah, that's very big because that's a lot of things there just happened. You've lost one of your fast mobile players. You've lost one of your block players, which had the potential to bring some of these players down. That's quite big in all sort of like sense, but ways there, man. That might be game. Like, re like, really, uh, yeah, it, it's... Yeah, big time. That, that could be it. Yep, no. Uh, and, eight. Uh, 11 v 8. Yeah. Daka happening. I think the next turn is Orcs just hold the line. Don't even blitz anything because he's obviously placed it that far away just to tease you again. Yeah, yeah. Stay where you be. The problem is with that line rat just lying there on the ground, you've got um, a potential player that can run through at some point as well and be a be a, a handoff or a pass target. Highly unlikely the ball's leaving that gutter run his hands, <laughs> but it still has, can be considered. Yeah, that's it. Big line up front. I'd be dropping someone. Well. Uh, Ranzimus, the podcast is still rolling. Well, we did an episode end of last year. We've got another episode coming up soon. Like we said, quick turns this overtime could be. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Quick uh, quick turns. Now, Artemis knows he's in range of being hit now. Ah, look, and he's coming forward to take a hit on this Black Orc on this side. He can make it two yeah, dice. It's the, one, it's the one without block. It's the weakest. It's the weakest point. It's the, it's the, it's the one without block. Uh, the troll is lurking in the, in the backfield, but obviously the troll can go stupid. So, you know. Especially with no friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, randomness, it's, it's, it's something for me and Fear to do. We, 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 we talked about other options and stuff, but we, we just enjoy chatting to each other. We're good, we're good mates, so we, we, we'll, keep on. we'll keep on with the format as it is. We had pondered other stuff, but no, I can assure you there will be more episodes of the, uh, the Blood Bowl Diaries coming, coming soon. If you haven't listened to the Blood Bowl Diaries, guys, it's up there on, uh, on Spotify and on YouTube. It's a podcast I do with my friend The Fear. We talk mainly about uh, NAF-style tabletop, uh, some fumble games as well. It's just a nice podcast, but bit bit different. We focus on the, uh, uh, we try and focus less on the on the dice aspect of it and more on the decision making. Gosh, you got a lot of output. Me? Yeah. We, uh, podcasts, YouTube channels. Black well, Hawk down. We have a Black Hawk down. What about him? There he is. But he's okay. Fine. We'll be served next turn if stood up. <laughs> oh, Doctor Ranzimus. Doctor Ranzimus. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. I and his. What's that line that Bilbo says? Like uh, butter scraped too thinly on a slice of bread. Like it, I'm, it's... I'm feeling. I, I'll do. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. Go on then. I'm feeling. I'm feeling stretched, Gandalf. Like, like butter scraped over too much bread. There we go. Because I'm not. Andy's not got what he needs here to defend no. this line, and he hasn't had any sort of like removals of his own this half to uh, compensate and thin their numbers. Yep, absolutely. It's the question of, I think Artemis is going to be able to score quite comfortably here on turn eight and not sort of like leave a chance for the... He's got the pal though on the snot. Oh! I thought he was doing something stupid. Ah, but like I said... Oh, dear, dear, dear. That feeling you get when you break a... So you knock a snot down, but nothing happens. Can't roll a six. On two dice. I've done it so many times. I've still got two re-rolls. Andy's got one. Andy's gone for the sort of like packed in, well, if you're going in, go all in, as his mantra is. Um, yep. Artemis can flick round a bit here yeah, we'll see what he does could be interesting but we're on turn 20 at least the game's going quickly though two dackers and uh and not many players it's quite nice isn't it given yeah, the fact yeah. that we, we had we start we started the game with uh with what 23 players on the pitch every every drive He's got to be going forward off this blitz. Yeah, should be, should be looking to push forward, shouldn't it? Yeah, round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Just shows the difference in our ages. I was I singing know. Malcolm McDonald. I know every time. Yes, who's back? Back again. And right. now he's in the same situation again. Can he get in front of this? If he can get in front of this, does it leave a stuff open on the other side that could be hit back? Well, oh, snotling dodging is just so lovely, isn't it? What's Buffalo Girls to store? And I swear, once they got there, they did something like do -si -do your partner, didn't they? Let's get in that screen to stop Andy from coming across. Is he going to dodge any more out? It's interesting, isn't it? I don't feel I don't feel that the game has really been like you know won or lost on on that much, really, has it? It doesn't feel like there's been a massive impact of things, you know, like the. It was just a troll block on the Rat Ogre that, that 
that caused the rat ogre to die. It's, you know, a failed GFI into an armor break that causes the, the blitzer to go. You know, it's not, it's just things that happen rather than any, uh, any major decision making. You know, Devo, if Devo fouled the gutter runner and killed the gutter runner, there's a choice there, you know? Uh -oh. oh, out dodge. Doesn't re roll. Oh, oh. Going down. Well, well, that player could jump across, maybe free the troll, move the troll across. Yeah, the exactly. Table. This this does this does open up the at least this opens up uh, exactly the troll the troll maybe getting back into the centre field here. Probably you want to plop it in the middle of the cross kind of area, isn't it? Mm. Yep, yep. Oh, thanks, troll. Just well singing done. your praises. Ten out of ten, mate. Good effort. Oh, Tom the Owl. It's all right, mate. You're at the bit that matters now. The result will be coming soon. Yeah, exactly. We will know what we will know what happens. Well, I think he's gonna get, it's gonna have to take a blockless block on this uh, right hand side free up one of the Black Orcs. Oh, uh, that's bad. Look at that. That's that really bad. That's no, but that's really bad because that now pins in those two orcs. Yeah. Oh no, it's not an orc, it's a goblin. So that now pins in the um oh, Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, you probably want to Annoying as it is, I think you probably blitz with the blitzer on the line orc just to avoid the one in nine. Because the big one's got movement five, it can still become relevant. But I think you blitz and drop back. I think Artemis is very easily going to be able to get forward here in the next couple of turns and play keep away from. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. I think this. I think I think Davo really needs to get two players back here. He uh, hasn't whilst got I'm... any fast players to get back there, unfortunately, due to the aforementioned GFI injuries and stuff of this nature. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, whilst, whilst I agree with you, Theodore Bone, in general, I do think that Devo had a had a, a harder choice to make on this one because because he was down so many players, he kind of had to push. Especially after self-inflicting that GFI into an injury. Hey, yeah. finally we found a yellow one. But unfortunately, he did not die. Okay, so there's a bit of a bit of movement here. It's a one D gets the gets the blow down. No armor break. Uh, the uh, rats here have got a lot of potential to outpace and screen off. Yeah, you got three players free already. So there's the there's the screen already. No one could catch that rat. This is not farewell, because there's now well, there'll be a losers game apparently. Yes, I believe there is a losers bracket as well. So even whoever whoever comes out victorious on this will progress forwards. The other whoever loses the match will then have the opportunity to stay in through a kind of repechage system um, with a losers bracket, as you say, Duderia. So is is that next week or? I have no idea. <laughs> Anybody know? I mean, whilst I'm whilst I'm very happy to do commentary, do we know? Uh, we also both have lives. Oh, speaking of lives, do we know what time do you have to go? Yeah, no, no, I, I, I'm all good at the moment. This is not going to interfere. Oh, phew. Yeah, I don't, I, that's if I'm banking on this sort of like last four turns not taking 24 minutes or something, you know. Sure. So Santa seems to think that it's more than 24 hours from the loss, but Quentin seems to think that the loser needs to play just after this match. So, well, we're, we're, it's either or, really, isn't it? Really? I've got no clue, mate. I've got no clue.
Yeah, uh, Mr. Dunn, enough here. I feel to secure the victory. Oh, absolutely. Well, def definitely secure the uh, secure the position this turn. Yes. Never I mean, say uh, never uh, say never uh, say uh, never. Uh, yet we're not. We still, you know, it's not over uh, until uh, it's Someone's not over. From it. Uh, no, they haven't. But they really came into play. Oh, that would make sense, BB Not if it's tomorrow. Ah, huh? tomorrow, Jimmy. I said that to be 24 hours. This opponent can't play until tomorrow. Ah, oh, right. And Attic says it's 7 o'clock today. Oh, God. What? Does anybody know officially? Like, who would Andy play? Do we know that? What's the other half of this bracket? Oh. It's all in here. Here we go. Look at this. I like it when a man links them up. Can you, can you open it, dude? I've only got one screen. I got it. I got it. Right. Season final. So, this half of the thing, it's Caltrop versus Polonius, who have already happened. The, the, the opponent for Davo is, is, is potentially is Platinus for the for, Platinus. For whoever. It is Platinus, yes. If, if I'm reading the calendar times, it's on the 13th of January, which is today, at 9.30. But maybe wow. Plotinus isn't around. But the next round after this would be... A 19th. That's next weekend. Yeah. There's... Do you know what? I'm just going to watch a game because that's as confusing as everything. Yep, yep, fair enough. Uh, but it, what it's sounding like, dude, we know, is it, it might be solo me tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I'm not, it it. I'm not doing it again. I'm not no. doing it again. No, no. Well, he's got the hit. He's got the pow. Is it merely consolation at this point, or can it actually lead to anything? Well, it's a KO. You see, Andy's dream is Artemis scoring early. Yep, yeah, I mean, Dave, if Dave can got knock this snotling, oh! Frenzy! Frenzy! There will be a second hit. God, tree, tree and Hellboy could be, a, could be a fun one, couldn't it? Oh, uh, he's got the knockdown, that's uh, just what he needed. Just what he needed. Just a stern on the little fella. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure I can find someone to join me. A yeah, tree, you're welcome to, of course. But yes, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens later. We'll, we'll see what we'll, we'll we will find out what's going to happen, and we'll see what happens. Right, might have to be a GFI here with this troll, actually. Yeah. He made it. Very good. Very good. Yeah, you have to take this one as well. Can't risk the three plus. No injury. Now, is that enough to force Artemis to score? Ooh. I think his blitzers are too far away. He's got two snotlings. He's got one snotling that's free. Yeah, I I just think Artemis can come and stand right down the bottom of this pitch. Mm. Uh, mm. And, you know, maybe be forced to score next turn, but not this turn. There you go. Yep. Bit of a snotling shield coming in. See, even at best, Andy's blitzers is going to be a long way away still. Yeah, they all the all the orcs are at the wrong end of the pitch right now. I mean, this is you remember you remember I uh, you remember I oh failed dodge early though. At least some pressure can be put on now. Um, how much remains to be seen, but at least some pressure can come come on. Um, remember at the start, did you where I said about a sweeper, maybe? Well, he could have done, but he lost one off the uh, kickoff result, and then the second one. I think he chased the Daka too much. But that's not for me to say. No, no. To you, I'll say it to his face and really rub it in. Yeah, of course you will. Yeah, of course you yeah. will. 
See, because the trouble is, if you go, it's got to stay almost middle in, because if you go too far to the left or the right, the yeah. go runner will just run the other, other way. way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, well, if Davo does get two turns, as you say, Tex Mac, if David does get two turns, he should consider himself quite lucky, I think. Really? Yeah. Gets, Gets the power on the first one. It's a KO. Pretty good if it is another, uh, if there is a two turn on, because. Uh, I'm not many body, players left. Yeah, there might not be. There might. There's a chance. There's not many players to defend against. Not many orcs, but um. Do you hit with the troll so you could free up a black orc a bit? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You do. Are you going to hit or are you going to vomit? Oh, you're going to hit. Because okay. a push. Because a push. Because otherwise you have to do the. You have uh, to get yeah, an armor break. Yeah, you just need yeah. a push. Tex-Mex is calling it the table we will get two turns to tie. Two turns. Two turns. Three turns. Four turns. Twenty-four turns. Okay, Devo uh, counting squares. There we go. It's two he's turns. In, he's in. He has got. Tex-Mex was right. He called it. He's got two turns to tie. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten versus eight. What? And is the eight? Yeah. Jesus, just so many of them snots, aren't there? What's a riot do in this situation? Automatically add a Automatically turn. Automatically adds a turn. Auto adds a turn. We've got two re-rolls playing, one re-roll. Yep. And the uh, and the kicks are just a dice off. It's just five best of five D6 rolls. First to three. Hold the fort for a sec. Yep, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Is that wrestle on a line rat? Is that not just animosity? Or is that... I don't know what these skills are. Oh, is it? Is it Dave? What? God. Two wrestle line rats. Oh, I've been. I mean, I didn't realise they were wrestle. I thought it was just animosity. Oh, right. So the line rats do have wrestle. Well, that's okay then. That's a bit of a better build then. Uh, Antic. Uh, I think Andy would rather play. I don't think. Uh, I don't think Andy really wants to do the commentary very much. Apparently, dude. Apparently, dude. Oh, the line rats have some of them have wrestle, but I wouldn't know because I don't know what oh, yeah, I don't know what the yeah. icons are. I want Jimmy Sting where he's got the mod the old Blood Bowl two ones, back yeah. to the old icons, but yeah, I'm sure they won't be really thrilled about that. Has Andy got his ball carrier back? Uh, I don't know. No, no, because he um he got sent off from officious ref, so you don't get him back. So it was the thrower that was sent off. So yeah, that, yeah. that's another little clink in the thing. So that means one of the blitzers has had to go back to get it, limiting the amount of movement six players that Andy's got to get up the field. Yeah. No demented jester, it's a resurrection format. Um, I'm not sure, BB Nut. And why is he? BB Nut what? Why is Davo doing the commentary? What, after this? No, why is he why is he doing yeah, why why is he doing the official commentary? Oh, because he got because he got asked to. But no, but I was I, BB Nut. BB Nut asked. Um, I think it was. Would you would 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 Davo rather play in the final or commentate? Or play in the final or commentate? And I said, would well, rather play. Play, yeah. I was gonna say. 
But the trouble is, it's not just the players that you get downfield. You've got to protect those players and then somehow make a pass. There could be a sort of like um, a uh, animosity role in this somewhere as yeah, well. Yeah, you've got to go. You've got to go blitzer to blitzer so that it yeah. doesn't. Um, you don't have to worry about animosity. There you go then. Oh, ten me. <laughs> oh, ten me. How far back's that guy a runner? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, he could do it. He could do it. Little well, man says blitzers have animosity to blitzers. Do they? They all take everything. What? Food. What? Anyway, it's, um, only four players can activate on this blitz. Yeah, no worries, no worries. God, it's awful if they've got animosity to to their own um to their own positional. God, animosity all teammates. Oh my god, that's horrible. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's very frustrating. Yeah, that's very frustrating. Okay, a uh, okay. So, can Davo? Oh, right, where are we? Well, so, so Artemis just rearranged the pitch slightly, used the blitz to... Strengthen up that right-hand right side, which yep. Andy was obviously favouring. Yep. Well, you had to commit to one side, didn't you? Yeah. You have to, so... First Doesn't bow. get the knockdown. Doesn't get the knockdown, because it's a oh, goblin. Oh, it's a goblin. Right. You might have to go for the blitz on the snotling here. Well, on the, the right hand is, side. There's no ifs, no buts, no coconuts. Andy has to be in range at the end of this turn if yeah. he wants to score. Yeah. Ifs, buts, coconuts, none. Goes for the vomit on the uh, snotling. Guts him out! Nice. It's still going to be tricky to get through. It really is. What about... No, you can't do that. That's a free plus. That gut is going to tag you no matter what. I think you still I think you still have to go for the blitz on that snotling and just hope that you... Get round? Yeah. But then isn't that a two plus? I mean, a free plus to dodge away from the gutter runner. Yeah, but because he, he's got frenzy, if he if he doesn't knock it down on the first oh, one. Right, yeah. Good point. No, that's not enough, is it? It's not enough. That is not enough. This is tough. Try to hit him out the way, then with this one, and send the other one yeah. round with your only solo chance. Here we go, then. Not got the pow. Use the last re -roll. Re rolls. Re gets the pow. Well, just go and stand. Thank you, Sid. So he's still got to dodge through. Yep. Unless he's died. He can So he clears the space. It gives Andy a chance. He is now at least in range, but will be pushed back. So if he passes this, no, there we go, right. GG! Um, we know, folks, there comes a time in Blood Bowl where we now know what the result is due to a foregone mathematical conclusion. It was a great game, well played Artemis, and uh, well played Andy as well. Hopefully we'll just click through now, lads. You know what you're doing.
is here every week. Jesus Beings Christ, every time. To watch large what men fight with weasels. I love weasels. Are we clicking, lads? Are you coming back, Andy? There we go. We know it's all done. Yeah, indeed. Oh, I'm just using re-rolls for fun now. Nah, there's nothing Andy can do. Well played, both folks. He's ended turn. That's game, ladies and gentlemen. That's game. Hey, how are you, buddy? Oh, I'm all right. Um, oh, grr, and grr, and, and yeah, the, the but it, it, I know, but it's not over. You get a chance in the Repershire to have another go at it. Although we're not 100% sure when you have to play that game. Um, let me tell you. Hang on. So I just lost. So that means I drop into the losers bracket, and I will be playing against. Um, my, what a magnificent is. catastrophe yeah. you got there. Okay. Uh, is it yours? Um, oh, Pointus is literally writing to me now, so I'm going to find out whether I've got a game right. now or not. Just give me a sec. Well, either way, I've got to go. 